the Disney Wish Cabin Tour and Gift Reveal. Back in June, Nancy and I celebrated our wedding anniversary with a stay at Walt Disney World, sandwiched between a four-night cruise on the Disney Wish. We made sure to have our bags packed the night before and all tagged for the Disney Cruise Line bus transportation to Port Canaveral. We stayed a few nights at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. In this video, we'll give you a room tour of our veranda cabin, plus we'll show you the surprise I arranged for Nancy, the Luxury at Sea for Two Romance Package. It was great. Okay, once you arrive at the terminal, go through the documents, verification, and security. Go up the escalator to the main terminal waiting area. See your boarding group called and walk through those famous set of mouse ears. You want to see your stateroom. You can't, of course as the cabins are not ready until the middle of the afternoon, so you have lunch and time to explore the ship until you get into your cabins. But once you do, the room keys, of course, are waiting for you on the wall right by your cabin door. In our cabin, number 7578, there was, of course, the famous split bathrooms. Disney is famous for offering these on these ships in most stateroom categories. They are wonderful, even when it's just Nancy and I staying in the cabin. The bathroom closest to our cabin door has the sink and toilet with a very nicely lit mirror and several shelves to use, as you can see. Before we see the second bathroom, let's take a look at the large double closet with plenty of hangers and shelves, as well as, of course, the safe. No, those bathrooms hanging up there in the closet are standard for us to use on our cruise. The bathrooms you'll see shortly in the Luxury at Sea package are very plush. Here is the second bathroom with the sink and mirror, plus the bathtub shower combination. These cabin bathrooms are great, not just for families with young children in the cabin who prefer to take baths, but also for mature adults who also prefer baths to the showers. These bathrooms are very nicely appointed, as you see. The veranda staterooms on the Disney Wish have different pictures at the headboard of the bed. We lucked out and had the Cinderella picture that you see here, which was very, very cute and romantic. Notice on each side of the bed, you have a lamp, a reading light, electrical outlet, and the nightstand. Notice also the curtain that is available to separate visually the sleeping area from the other areas of the cabin. So now Nancy has found the gift that I had prearranged. Time for the reveal so you can see it as well. Each of those black packages contains one of the plush bathrooms that we are to take home with us. There is also a small box of chocolates, a red rose, and a good sized bottle of either wine or non-alcoholic cider. I selected when ordered the non-alcoholic beverage because I wanted the gift to all be in the cabin when Nancy and I entered. The Disney cast member told me when I was ordering that we would have to have been in the cabin before they could deliver all the gifts if I had ordered the alcoholic beverage. Just so you know. We ended up taking the non-alcoholic bottle with us when we left the ship for our stay at Disney's Boardwalk Resort after our cruise and had it there. It was surprisingly good. As far as the rest of the cabin, you see the love seat, which was actually comfortable with its tiny table, more of the Cinderella theming with the wall art you see here, the flat screen TV on the wall directly across from the foot of the bed. It's surprising how many cruise ships of all different cruise lines have tiny TVs and well away from the bed, so they're not really usable at all. Not that you come on a cruise to watch TV, that is. On to the balcony. It was a very deep balcony, at least compared to others we've stayed in or seen on other cruise lines. Notice that the dividers at the edge of each wall on either side of the balcony can be adjusted by the cabin steward to open, which would be great if we had family or friends in the cabins right next to ours. 
back to the cabin. Here, Nancy is testing the size of the stateroom's built-in cooler mini-fridge by trying to place that bottle of bubbly from the Luxury at Sea package inside it. It's just a tad too small for the bottle to stand upright. But putting it over to the side, it closes just fine. We hope you have found at least one of the tips presented so far interesting and useful for you. You may wish to subscribe to our At Nan Dan Travel YouTube channel if you've not already done so for future travel videos for adults where we try and save you money and time through our travel insights, recommendations, and experiences that we share with you. Plenty of drawers and storage shelves throughout the cabin, which were really great and very useful for us. So what do those plush bathrooms look like? Here you go. There is only one size, just so you are aware. The tag on the inside states it is a one size fits all. I'd say it's a men's extra large, but Nancy's been able to wear it at home all the time this winter. Yes, it is machine washable and tumble dry on low per the tag inside. If you have received this luxury at sea for two romance package yourself, let us know in the comments your opinion of what you received. We'd like to hear from you. Now, before we go, people ask us what type of towel animals did we find on our bed each evening? Well, here are pictures from two of the four nights on our cruise. And here are pictures of the other two nights of our sailing. On our last night, there was also this portrait to take with us as part of Disney Cruise Line's Silver Anniversary at Sea celebration. And do not be shy letting them know if you are celebrating anything on your cruise, whether on a Disney Cruise Line or any other cruise. Here is what was waiting for us one evening to help us celebrate our anniversary on our Disney Wish Cruise. Thanks so much for taking the time out of your day to tour our cabin veranda on the Disney Wish and the reveal of the Luxury at Sea for Two Romance package. Here's another video for you as well as a link to our entire playlist of our Disney Cruise Line videos. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.